guys, it's your boy Zach, Z Reality. Got a little story for you on this one. This one's uh, not the greatest uh, things to have ever happened to me. So uh, back in about early 2011, I believe, um, I was getting in a little bit of a trouble and hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I uh, ended up in a drug court program here in Gaylord, Michigan. And uh, in that program, they have, you know, board members, a judge, and, over and a probation officer that oversees you, and this is private. This is not open to the public. And every two weeks, you go in front of the judge, and they do a review on how you're doing. And also, there's phases, and in the first phase, you go report in every day, and then, you know, less as you phase up. Now, anyway, as part of this, they give you different resources and different things to help you uh, rehabilitate. Now, one of them, uh, we had to do groups at Catholic Human Services. And uh, I actually didn't mind these groups. And uh, I was sitting in a group one day, and my phone was on vibrate, and uh, it started to ring. I looked down, it's my mom, who at the time was also my boss, because she owned a uh, resale store at the time that I helped manage. And I didn't answer it at the time, um, but she knew I was in the meeting, so it had to have been important if she was calling me. But somebody was talking, so I did not answer it. Well, then she called again. And at this time, the person that was speaking had stopped speaking. So I hurried up and apologized to the whole group and said, I got to answer this really quick. I answered the phone. I said, Mom, I'm still in the group. So on and so forth. She said, I'm sorry, hung up. Unfortunately, she had forgot I was in the group, but I was on the phone 10 seconds or less. Again, I apologized to the group. You know, and like I said, I did wait to make sure there was nobody talking. Now, the staff member, uh, the lady that was overseeing the group of us, uh, told me that I, was, that I shouldn't be answering my phone, so on and so forth, and I told her again I apologize. But when it comes to my family or my livelihood, I'm going to answer the phone, but I will do so respectfully. And again, I apologized to her, and we continued on with the group. A few days later, uh, it was a drug court review day. I go up in front of the judge thinking I'm actually going to do good. I'm going to work every day, passing all my drug tests, paying my fines. Everything's going well. Well, the lady that was overseeing that group that day had wrote the judge a letter um, and apparently said I was rude, disrespectful for answering my phone in group. And the judge gave me three days in jail. Yeah, you heard me right. Three days in jail because I answered my phone. Now, there were members in drug court that were in that group with me that day, they stood up in the courtroom to defend me and said that I was in no way rude or disrespectful. I apologized to the group, and I was on the phone less than 10 seconds. And the judge told them to sit down or they'd be going to jail with me. And literally, that was put on my file as a violation of probation, and I sat three days in jail because I answered my phone. And sadly, that board I told you about has a defense counsel member on it that's supposed to be our provided counsel, and instead of getting up and helping defend me or give me any sort of consultation, instead he helped vote on my punishment. Tell me how that's right. You want to see more videos? They'll be coming.